Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are headed to London. I wanted to pop on here really quickly and let you all know that I uploaded a Sao Paulo Brazil vlog, this one right here on a random Thursday. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I usually upload videos on Sundays, sometimes Mondays, but Sundays are my day and I just kind of pop this one up on a random day. So if you haven't watched it, make sure you go ahead and check it out. It's a longer vlog. It was my first time in Brazil and it was a really great time. So make sure you check it out. If you're new here, make sure you join the fly crew by hitting the subscribe button and to my OG Fly Crew members, thank you. I really appreciate you all being here. Now, let's head to London. All right, everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are headed to London and I'm actually working a late London flight. My report time is at 9.25 p.m. I'm in the international terminal, getting ready to go through our special security line. So I catch you all on the other side. All right, so I've made it onto the other side and I'm signing in for my trip right now. And we have security advisory, so let me read those. All right, so after reviewing the security advisories, it's just a general security advisory, nothing specific. I got a little bit worried because, you know, after Ecuador that time, but everything is fine. So right now I'm headed to the crew lounge. I'm getting ready to brief my crew and I'll catch you all when I'm done with that. I'm done briefing with my crew. Our aircraft just arrived, which allows me to come up and get me a coffee. I have a little bit of a headache that I've been trying to get rid of all day. And I know the caffeine would just go ahead and eradicate that. It sucks that the plane is late, but it works in my favor. All right, so I was able to get a coffee. Actually, the coffee bar is closed, but they saw that I was in uniform, so they ended up getting me one anyway, and I thank them so much for that. Actually, one of my former high school students, she works there, and I was hoping to see her, but I found out that she only works in the morning. Let me go over here, wait for our plane to get ready, and I'll catch you all in a little bit. All right, Fly Crew, so we finally made it here on the aircraft. Hopefully you all cannot hear that music that's playing. We're actually gonna start boarding as soon as we can get everything together. We're flying on the 767-400 aircraft. That's what we flew in my last two London vlogs. I'm flying in the three left inboard position. I've already pre-flight checked all of my equipment. I'm actually gonna go through and make sure everything is set up properly. I'm gonna check in with my crew one more time and I'll catch you all when we get to London. crew i'm here in my room in london so as you all know this is my third time at this hotel and i feel like every time i come to this room actually i know every time i come to this room i have a different configuration so this is what it looks like this time all right first let me park my bag over in the corner somewhere i actually have a lot more space this time to move around so when you close the door and you make a sharp left this is the view the body mirror right here. The only thing that this area is missing is a mirror above it, but let's see what it looks like when we turn on the bathroom light. So this is the bathroom. It looks the same as always. Mirror, sink and counter, and there's a toilet there. I have noticed that the bathrooms in all of my rooms have been basically the same size, so nothing special or different about those. You come out of the bathroom, there's a towel warmer switch right there. And then here is the bedroom area. We see Diana, hey Diana. And then this is the view from the other side of the room. So I do like that this room is more spacious, have a lot more space to move around in. Here is our mini fridge with our two complimentary bottles of water or this is a water cooler but y'all know what i mean big screen tv right here actually i think i turned on the tv for the first time my last trip i'm gonna be trip before last just to have something on in the background to kind of put me to sleep then here's the closet and i almost forgot to show y'all my view i don't have very much of a view i'm on a lower floor this time so this is what i see 
All right, let me get this situated so I can chat with y'all a little bit before I get on with my day. I was super excited to come here because the first time I had no idea what Borough Market was. And the last two times I came, I actually worked on a Sunday. Therefore, I got here on a Monday and Borough Market is closed on a Monday. Today, I'm working during the week where the Borough Market is open and it's rainy. And I don't mind a little bit of rain, you know, a little bit, just a little bit here and there. But it's like rain to the point where it's uncomfortable. So it's like... <sighs> I finally got here during the week where I could actually go to Borough Market and it's raining. Borough Market, I know from just like looking at the blueprint and everything, isn't that big. I just wanted to go and experience because you all know I love grocery stores and markets and things like that. I can't really bring too much back. Like I definitely can't bring any fruit back and large liquids. I just wanted to go and be in the number and experience it. Let me check the weather right now. It is a 75% chance of rain today. Currently it's 55 degrees and it is a little chilly just because it's winter here and it's rainy. So it makes the temperature a little bit cooler. 75% chance of rain and it's currently 55 degrees. That's pretty chilly. So my hopes of going to Borough Market have pretty much been dashed. Now, while I was on the airplane, two of the crew members invited me to go out with them to see a play. I always hear people talking about the shows that they see in London and how they're really nice and they're inexpensive and all this other stuff. I never had an interest in going just because it's just so much stuff to do in London. But since two of my crew members actually invited me to go, I'm going to go with them and we're going to go see Wicked. So I'm pretty excited about that. The play starts at 7 or 7.30. It's only like a 25 minute tube ride over there. The rain is going to be 0% chance at 4 p.m. and I meet up with my crew members at 5 p.m. The current time is 1.32. I actually were delayed leaving out of Atlanta because the aircraft arrived late and as you know it arrived late therefore they had to do security procedures as well as clean the aircraft. With it I think we were delayed leaving out of Atlanta 30 minutes. We actually landed a little bit early but when we got here we had to wait on the gate that pushed us being delayed by 20 minutes. The ride from the airport was around 40 minutes. My pickup time to tomorrow is at 1.05 p.m. So I technically could get up in the morning and do something. And when I say do something like really minimal, like maybe go to Selfridges and have breakfast. I know I have chatted with y'all a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and get settled in the room and then I'm gonna catch y'all in a little bit. crew I took a quick nap I think I took a 30 minute nap and now I'm getting dressed to head out to go see Wicked this is what I'm wearing well I actually haven't put on all of my clothes yet but I'm wearing a mock neck sweater I just did this stain like what is this and I've been trying to clean it out I use the little shout wipes but it's not coming out so it is what it is I'm wearing some jeans and let me go ahead and put on my sneakers I'm wearing my sneakers and then I'm also wearing a trench coat and I just realized that I could have bought some little booties or something and I could have made this like a super cute outfit but sneakers it is today. Let me go ahead and take this bonnet off of my head. See what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'll probably just wear it down. I've been doing a lot of ponytails half up half down. I might just wear it down today to give my edges a little break. I've had this hair in for almost two and a half months now. I'm probably gonna take it out within the next week. I was just off work for two weeks. I was on vacation then I was just doing other stuff last week and I thought about it. I was like Courtney you could have took your hair out last week but I just wasn't feeling so I'll be doing that soon. Of course, I'm going to take my fanny pack and I'm also going to bring a scarf with me just because it's chilly and it's rainy and it also can go over my head for protection as well. I'm actually supposed to be downstairs right now meeting my crew. So I'll catch you all in a little bit.
All right, Fly Crew, so we're in the Victoria area. This is the area where we're gonna see Wicked, but we're just walking around right now. I will tell you that it's such a difference being out during rush hour time. The train was much busier. People were hustling to get where they had to go. So right now we're just walking around, seeing what we want to do. So come along. Currently, we're walking to Buckingham Palace. One of my crew members has never been there before, so we were like, okay, we have time. Let's walk over there. It's like a 10 minute walk from the Victoria Street area. And if you want to see it, it's in this vlog. You can watch my first visit to London. So if you can remember the last time that I was here in this vlog, all of this was blocked off because they were setting up for some type of marathon. I can't remember what it was, but I'm sure people will know. You couldn't even walk to any of this stuff over here. You can walk up to the gate because you all saw that, but a lot of this was blocked off. So it's pretty cool being back and being able to see it up close. I stay asleep through the night. I would like to get up tomorrow, go to the gym, as well as get a little bit of breakfast. We'll see how that goes. Wicked was so great. That was my first time ever seeing a show in London, and I see why people see shows in London. I loved it. Also, this is my uniform shirt hanging up right here. I'm trying to let it steam in the bathroom. I do not want to iron it at all. I'm just not in the mood to do that. I'm gonna relax, eat, go to sleep, and I'll catch y'all in the morning. Good afternoon, fly crew members. Today is day three of three and I'm in London and I'm packing up my room because I have 25 minutes to get to the van. So I'm getting ready pretty early because I wanna go and maybe get a sandwich or a coffee. So I think I'm gonna snack on the bus because I don't land until like 9 p.m., 9.30 tonight. So I need to make sure I nourish myself because when I have p.m. trips like this, I don't forget to eat. I just look up and I'm like, dang, I'm starving. Let's go ahead and pack up my room so we can head downstairs. I think I've told you all this probably a million times by now, but London, UK has a liquids rule. So I'm gonna put this stuff in this bag where it's easily accessible from when I'm going through security. I gotta do a quick walkthrough of the room. I did a little bit of yoga this morning, so I got all of that together. I am dressed and ready. So let's head out. I'll catch you downstairs. All right, y'all, so I made it to security. This time, fairly easy. I've already stopped and got a couple of drinks as well as a bag of chips in the center area before I go to my gate. And now I'm going to a slightly different area to see if I can get a hot sandwich. We got here like an hour early, so I'm gonna do this and I'll catch you in a bit. All right, so the tuna place I was looking at did not have what I wanted, so I know that for future reference. So I actually found out that they have a larger one in the duty-free, more central area. So I went to Pret and they actually had tuna. So I got a tuna toasty and then I got a tuna baguette. So I'm headed on the plane and I'll catch you in a bit. All right, y'all, so I'm on the airplane. I'm fine on the 767-400, just like before. We are pretty light going back to Atlanta. I think we have about 65 passengers. Remember, I had that same situation in this vlog. 
So we put down the amenity kits only for what we knew customers where they're seated, not everywhere. We went ahead and set up business class completely because we're not quite sure where everyone will be seated. They might move them around or some people may get upgrades. So we just set all of the seats up for business class, how they usually go. So as you can see, we didn't even open up all of the overhead bins because we're pretty light going back. This is the tuna baguette that I got. And this is the toasty that I got. I think we're gonna go ahead and eat this one now before we start boarding. And I'll catch you all when we get back to Atlanta. I am back in America. Well, not officially. Let me clear customs and I'll catch y'all on the other side. So I really thought I was gonna be at customs before this, but because of where I parked, I'm doing the long walk. And if you can remember from this vlog right here, this is the area where my lunch bag fell off. I'm keeping an eye on that. My Apple Watch already asked me did I wanna record or end a walk. <laughs> So that lets you know how far and what kind of pep I have in my step trying to get over here to clear customs. I'll catch y'all on the other side. There were so many people at customs. All I'm gonna say is thank God for global entry because if you plan on traveling internationally this summer, you need to get it. This is what I got from the airport. The chips I like. I like this drink. I've gotten it the last two times. This will be my first time trying this one. It's kind of an energy, natural energy drink type. Don't want to call it an energy drink, but it's a natural drink that gives you energy. And then I got this one last time. I actually have not drink it, but I'm just betting that I'm going to like it. So I got another one. Uh -uh, get down. Sit. Stay. Hi, Max. How are you? You gotta stay though. Uh uh. Nope, don't jump on me. How you been?